live. We're live. What's up, guys? I hope you're ready for another killer workout. Tuesdays have become my favorite day of the week, and it's because we do lower body. Are you ready to burn? Shout yes if you are ready to burn. And um, before we get started, if you wouldn't mind just smashing the thumbs up button, come out of the live chat, smash that thumbs up button. Even if you're not watching live, smash the thumbs up button. It helps me to reach more people. Today's workout is gonna be working pretty much every muscle from here downwards, okay? So we are working booty, but we're also working the other muscles in the lower body as well. If you've got them, quickly grab a set of weights for me. If you haven't, I know so many of us are in lockdown, please don't worry, just grab whatever you can get your hands on, okay? So bags of rice, bottles, or whatever you can get your hands on, and a resistance band is optional. If you've got one, it's gonna intensify your burn quite a lot, okay? In terms of structure, because I know this is a long session and I know it freaking burns, what you need to know is we're doing a three minute warm up just to literally loosen off our body. We're then going into activation, which is kind of like an extended warm up, but it's to get your muscles prepped for what's coming in the next section. So that's 10 minutes, okay? Then we're doing five minutes and wrap, supersetting two exercises. So we're basically going to be doing two exercises back to back to back to back to back for five minutes continuous. And we do five, five of them. It's intense, okay? But you're gonna love it. Guys, I have had a pretty poop day, but I'm so excited to release some endorphins and feel great with you guys. We also have a Q&A at the end. Make sure you stay around with an England rugby superstar so you don't wanna miss it. You literally do not wanna miss it. Okay, we're going in eight seconds. When you just come up into standing, we're just warming up the body. In four seconds, it's a three minute countdown. We're just gonna shift the body side to side. Core nice and tight. Breathing, guys. Chest open. Nice and slow, just warming up the body, guys. We're literally gonna have a party, okay? The music's gonna be pumping. I know it's gonna burn, but you're gonna love it. minutes 
of activation, okay? It's 45 seconds on, 15 seconds off. So we have quite a few of you who are pretty advanced in here now. All different levels, but if you are super advanced, I want you to keep going through your 15 minutes, your 15 seconds recovery, if you can, okay? So this is just to get us ready, get those muscles active. Guys, we're gonna be going in 15 seconds. If you're a beginner, I promise I'm gonna be showing you modifications. And if you don't have a band for this exercise, I want you to come down and pump out. Everyone else, if you've got a band, come onto your forearms, find the feet, feet together, pump, pump, and slowly in. So out, out, in. Out, out, in.
first up is quads. How are we feeling? Let me know out of 10 quickly how you're feeling. I'm already feeling the happy hormones kick in. I don't know about you guys, as I said, I had a pretty poop day. Guys, that's entirely normal, okay? We're all, we all have days like that. So we have five minutes on now, just setting up my timer. I want you to grab your weights, okay? This is five minutes continuous. Let me know out of 10 how your body's feeling. It shouldn't be too high. I really hope it's not too high, okay? We're starting off with a wall sit hold. So we come nice and low. You want to make it harder, you're going to hold the weight. So you're holding for 30 seconds. From there, literally just drop your body down. Have a weight on your chest if you can. Drop back and come forward. Keep that core tight, no overarching. We're doing 10 of those, okay? So a really nice, simple way to start this off. We're going in 15 seconds. Is there a lag that we had in the numbers? Yeah, tomorrow's a four. Good, perfect. Here a six. Good. Starting off on the wall, guys. If you want to grab the weight. Perfect for a warm up. Really good. So coming down. My gosh, my eyesight isn't good, but okay, yeah, I'm just about to see it. And just enjoy. Enjoy the pain. Enjoy the burn. Nice and slow, guys. 30 seconds. You're only halfway. You can hold both weights. Lower. 10 seconds. Come on. It's only five minutes of your life. Enjoy that bed. Five, four, three, two, one, and we up. Good. Coming back. And forward in a nice straight line, guys. Two, three, breathe. Four. If you struggle with this with sore knees, just do a squat. Six, squeeze that butt. Onto the 
your legs. And if you can, all with no weight, you're gonna try and straighten the leg out and alternate sides, okay? Otherwise, guys, just literally hold. Just hold. because we're gonna go in. Okay, sliding down, place the weights onto your pelvis. We're starting off with our up, up, and lower. We're gonna do 20 of those, really hitting those glutes, okay? From there, we're gonna do 20 pump outs. If you don't have a band, instead you can pump up. We're then gonna come down on the floor and do 20 butterfly bridges, okay? We're going in 15 seconds, get up onto your chair, follow me. Okay, I'm gonna go with both weights. Ah, oh, yeah. Okay, get ready to burn. Find that beat, it's up, up. So, up, up, lower. Up, up, lower.
squeeze the butt up. Pump out, go 20, 90, 80. Oh my gosh, my butt is cramping. Literally cramping.
My sister always says to me, you don't tell us how much more we've got left. You've only got two more circuits left, okay? But they are, they're, they're tough, okay? Good boy. Okay, any numbers coming through? I don't know why, but my arms hurt. <laughs> Michelle's an eight, Serena's a nine, Passac's an eight. Cindy just says, oof. <laughs> it Marina's hurts, right? Marina's a <laughs> is dead, officially. Officially dead, okay. Um, All right, guys, we're gonna include a little bit of cardio in this with quads, okay? So you've got an option. You can pop the band on if you want to. You don't have to wear the band, particularly my beginners. We're gonna start off with 20 in our squat jumps. If you've got the band on, obviously it's gonna make it a lot harder. Weights if you want, no worries if not. Then grab one or two weights into the chest. You're coming nice and low and you're gonna pump for 20. If you can, you're on the toes while you pump. Narrow squat, narrow squats kill, okay? The band's just gonna drop down with that. Okay, 15 seconds. Have your weights close by. I'm gonna start some of you off with the band, but honestly, beginners, you do not need to use a band, okay? Let's get that music nice and high. Oh my gosh, I need to loosen this up. Oh, 20 jumping out squats. Two, one, let's go. One, two. Guys, if you can't jump, keep going. You should be at six, seven. If you can't jump, just step the feet in and out, okay?
Pushing the inner thighs together. We're here. Pop. Beginners flatten the feet, okay? This really burns all the way, guys. I'm going to show you from the side. You can on the toes. You pump. Beginners flat. Chest open. Ten. Nine. Eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. Quickly find your wall. Finish it off. Ten seconds left below. I'm resting so Oh my gosh, I love that circuit. Is that weird? That's like my favorite circuit. You know when you feel like your quads have a pulse? That's how I feel right now. Okay, hamstrings guys. Hamstrings are combining with inner thighs. So I normally superset hamstrings back to back. The reason why I'm not today is because with last week's Q&A, a lot of you were getting back pain with hamstrings. So I'm giving you a break in between your hamstrings to do inner thighs. Also, adductors, in my opinion, we don't work them enough, inner thighs. They're so important for so many stability exercises and movements. Okay, 15 seconds, guys, until we go. <laughs> Quickly let me know how you're feeling. We're starting off on our back, then we're literally just gonna be rolling onto our side. Two minutes, 30 seconds. Each side, this is your last circuit. Then I am gonna do, Alex will be angry, but a three minute booty finisher, okay? And then we got our Q and A. All right, first one, we're actually gonna shift the body weight onto one side, flat or raised up to you. And we're doing 20 pumps. From there, we literally roll onto our side and then we're going with 20 inner thigh raises, okay? Weight, optional. Going in 15 seconds. Any numbers? And in numbers. We know it is a 10 on 10. Great. Beatrice is a thousand. Great. And is a nine. Great. Is a nine. Oh. So okay, is single leg guys. This is gonna finish you right off. Okay, let's go. 20, 19. 50, 40, 30. Remember the first.
you want to feel it? Five, four, higher, three, two, one. Pace side, in, four, three, two, let's go, 20, 20, 20, 20, 20, 
are going to quickly stretch out those glutes because they are on fire. Okay, back up. Guys, you made it through yet another workout. We now have a Q&A, and the Q&A is with Emily Scarrett, who is an England rugby literal superstar, guys. She is incredible. So please hang around. We're going to be getting basically advice from her about how she's staying fit during lockdown, and we're going to be delving a little bit deeper into stereotypes. I'm going to be sharing a few of my stories with you as well, which I'm hoping you'll find interesting. Let's hope I don't get emotional. Okay, so hugging in really nice and tight, guys. And you're just going to push that knee away as well. And during this Q&A, if you want to, or not if you want to, I would recommend that you do a stretch, okay? Of course, you can ask questions as well. So hooking over, hugging in nice and tight. Tira, how are we doing for likes versus how many people are here? Hello, baby. Hello. I'm pushing that knee away again. About 1,100 people and there are 790 likes. Okay. Whoever hasn't liked, I'm going to find you. <laughs> I'm joking. If you wouldn't mind, quickly smashing the like button. That includes my sister, Dominique. I know you don't normally do it, so I'm going to make sure you're doing it today. Okay, guys, are you ready for a Q&A? Let me know how you found that out of 10. I really hope you enjoyed the burn. I loved it. I actually feel great now. I feel good. And don't forget to do your finisher after this Q&A, or you can go and do it now and come straight back. Okay, guys, I'm gonna put you over to Emily now to introduce herself, and then you're gonna hopefully find me over at the desk in a minute. Okay, over. First question is how you balance um, the diet between when you're training intensely and playing matches, and then obviously when you're not, and it is difficult. Um, I think it's just important to, to match what you're eating with, with obviously what your body requires. So when you're training a lot, um, and obviously match play, there's a, there's a lot of recovery that needs to go on, a lot of energy that's expended and therefore needs to be replaced. And then obviously when you're not training as much, it's about kind of maintaining, um, you know, what you're doing and making sure, you know, throughout everything, it's a, a balanced and healthy diet for me, definitely. But obviously we travel a lot, so sometimes you don't necessarily get to choose what you eat because you're being fed by hotels that you're staying in etc um, so it's just about being prepared um, and making sure that you've got stuff with you that you know is part of your diet um, so yeah oh my gosh guys that is so much quicker than our normal transition I might <laughs> At least you get to see behind the scenes, there's still wires everywhere. I'm dripping with sweat. Um, I'm actually going to quickly log in and see, hopefully, to find out what you guys are saying, how you found it. But that is Emily. Please bear with me. This is normally a lot faster, but 60 seconds to do that changeover is pretty killer. So, you guys sent in some of your questions, um, which Emily has answered. As I said, I'm going to be kind of jumping in as well to let you know what my thoughts are on them all. Um, and I'm also going to be sharing just a lot of my experiences because have we hit 500k yet? No, not yet. Guys, we are literally like a thousand subs off of 500k. And actually, that's a really good question. How long have you guys been subbed for? Because I feel like just a few of you have kind of been around for like three and a half years, which is when we first set up. Um, so a lot of you probably don't even know me that much. All you know is that I'm like the girl who literally inflicts pain and yeah, hopefully makes you feel great, but just putting some lip balm on. Um, so yeah, I'm gonna be sharing my thoughts on everything. Uh, first question, what was the first question for Emily Alex? Cause it didn't come through to my, so I'm just making sure that I've got. How do you manage what you eat? Okay, yeah, so this is a really, I'm actually really glad this is the first question um, because last week, well the week before last, we actually spoke to Optimum Nutrition, nutritionist, um, and he gave a lot of really, really valuable information, Alan Kenny, and so much conversation has been like literally brought up off the back of that. We then spoke about eating disorder, disordered eating patterns, all of that. Um, so it's really interesting now to hear from an elite athlete how she eats and also kind of find out has that changed during lockdown we're going to be talking about her training during lockdown um and i'm sure you've probably got hundreds of questions about how i eat as well so feel free to type them in we're going to go over to emily and i'm going to be reading your questions and answering them yeah, talking about motivation oh motivation first <laughs> that was the first question ah uh, what yeah, we're talking about motivation 
She's spoken about. Oh, she's already spoken. I thought she was just introducing herself on the phone. Okay, right. She's already spoken about that. So now it's motivation, how to stay motivated. Um, so again, something really, really interesting. Um, I think during lockdown, people have either gone in one direction or the other. And I don't know if you can relate to this. People are either like super, super motivated and like, I'm going to come out of lockdown in the best shape of my life. Or it's kind of like Netflix and chill, both of which are absolutely fine. But I guess Emily doesn't really have that, that choice, right? She's got to train. So what is it that motivates her? Over to Emily. Next question is about struggling with energy before um, and after workouts and, and motivation and definitely something I can relate to. I think, you know, motivation and energy often kind of fluctuates throughout the season, throughout days. Um, I think for me, it's about finding uh, a good time. So I, I much prefer training in the morning. Um, I know if I get up, get going, um, that, that works for me, have a coffee. Um, but, but that will be different for everybody. Some people much prefer training in the evening. They kind of find that spot where, where they can really get energized and, and up for it. So yeah, I think it's just learn about your body um, and then also set yourself goals. You know, if you've got goals, you're much likely to, to find that motivation because ultimately you're working towards something. Obviously for me, it's easy in a sport um, we've always got goals that we're working towards, but you know, if you're if you've got something that you're training towards, it might be a weight target, it might be calories burnt in a day, it might be trying to do a 10k at the end of the month, whatever that is, just try and have something as a goal because then that kind of that will lead to your motivation, and then you know you'll have days where you don't have much energy, but it makes it a hell of a lot easier to do. super interesting again I'm like trying to catch up so Emily if you're watching this I'm so sorry um but I think I just find it fascinating because I'm going to give you a little bit of background hello Teddy on my experience I come up baby come on up I am a physiotherapist so those for those of you who don't know my background I'm actually a physio that was the degree that I studied um and obviously right now I'm kind of like doing something polar opposite to that which is well, there, there are parallels, of course, but I used to work in elite sport. So I worked in professional football. I actually worked in women's football for a while, uh, which I absolutely loved, by the way. And I also worked in, for Premier League football clubs for the academy. Um, I think the biggest thing I learned when I was there is an athlete's mentality has to be very different to the average person nine times out of ten and this doesn't apply to all sports but nine times out of ten in professional sport the athlete is doing that full time so if there is an injury and us as a physio have to try and rehab that that injury we have access to the athlete pretty much 24 7 that is their job right so when one of us gets injured or one of us are trying to one of us are trying to achieve an aesthetic goal for example we're probably going off to work, doing a normal nine to five, then trying to find a little bit of time in between putting our kids to bed or whatever it might be to try and like achieve that aesthetic goal or rehab that injury. With athletes, not all the time, but with athletes, a lot of the time, they have a lot of more time on their hands. Someone like Emily is literally channeling every single second she can find into rehabbing, making sure that she stays on track, staying motivated. So it's very, very different for us guys um, who aren't elite athletes to find that motivation and where we're actually finding it from because it depends on what our goal is. It depends on how much time we've got. It depends on other external factors. Do we have children? Are we trying to look after someone? Um, so yeah, I think everyone will struggle with motivation in different ways. For me, um, I often like, get asked how are you motivated all the time I need to be totally honest with you I'm not <laughs> like you should have seen me this weekend just gone and um, I was a nightmare like I really wasn't good but I've kind of got to a point where I'm just like that's totally fine I'm not going to be motivated all of the time particularly when it comes to hormones as well so I don't know if any of you girls can like relate I'm sure you can I don't know how bad or time of the month is but finding motivation then for me is just so much harder and um, I want to eat a lot more I do eat a lot more I eat foods that I wouldn't normally eat so there's so many different like external factors to think about I'm going to keep reading your questions we're going to go straight over to Emily again now but send through your questions let me know if there's anything else and I'm going to keep butting in basically what's the next question for Emily Alex um stereotypes of rugby not being important okay I got a lot to say about this, but let's see what Emily has to say. So it's basically, has Emily ever come across stereotypes with rugby being not for women, basically, which 
angers me in itself. But let's head over to Emily and see what she has to say. Have I ever struggled with girls don't play rugby? Um, yes, definitely. I've been playing since I was five years old. So um, the, the landscape of women's rugby has changed a hell of a lot in that time. Um, kind of when I was growing up, it was... You know the stereotypes um it was all about you know it's a boy sport um yeah so i think recently especially that that kind of movement is changing um we get a lot more coverage now we're on the tv a lot more our matches are shown we're covered in papers social media all of that sort of stuff so i think that's it's making us more visible it's making um, women's rugby you know more normal and accepted throughout the community which is which is awesome numbers coming through is oh, this God, your age okay i was like okay that is a high number out of 10 by the way um amazing so you've said how long you've been following for this is incredible so i've been watching you for three years i think so that's angela c i think you've been around from the beginning um or pretty much from the beginning i okay you're talking about finisher as well how old is everyone here I'm 30. Um, so yeah, I think, honestly, as I said, it kind of, it makes me angry thinking about that um, and whether there are stereotypes, but I want to share with you a really interesting quote that one of my friends sent through to me earlier that I'm going to tell you a little bit about my story. Um, so I've had a little bit of a rubbish day for a few reasons, which I'm not even going to go into, but this is a quote that one of my close friends, Danae, who you girls met last week, sent to me. Every now and then, someone will not get you. They'll perceive you in the wrong way or even look down on you. This will not bother you if you know yourself well and your actions come from good intentions. How others see you is often a reflection of their old conditioning plus their current mood. Now, that really hit home for me and the interesting thing is i was asked by an influencer friend of mine who's based in london for mental health awareness week what is a word that resonates with you the most around your journey with mental health and she pulled in quite a few online personalities for this and most of the girls were saying um anxiety eating disorders it, there was so much of a range body positivity self-worth but the word that i chose was judgment um and specifically fear of ju judgment fear of being judged and i know that probably sounds a bit crazy to you girls because i put myself out there right like i'm so crazily honest with you girls like i show you everything like you you pretty much know my life as well as i do um but i've always fought with judgments i've always like had this kind of horrible sickness and thought inside me that i'm being judged and it stems back from years upon years ago like i remember when i was studying and i was trying to decide what to study by the way virag i hope your finals went well i hope anyone else who is um doing their final exams at the moment they went well um and i remember i was always a little bit like confusing because i loved the arts i loved singing I loved anything that was kind of artistic creative, but I was really scientific. I loved maths, I loved biology, chemistry, <laughs> physics, and I was kind of at this crossroads of what to do. Um, and my mum said to me, have you considered physiotherapy? And my mum's a nurse, by the way. My dad's um, an engineer. And I was like, but mum, I don't wanna be the person who runs onto the pitch. I wanna be the athlete. And I remember at the time thinking, this is so crazy, because I was a national level swimmer, I was a really high level athlete, um, but I wasn't gonna make a career out of that, I knew that. Um, so I ended up studying physio, which kind of forced me down the route of the sciences, the maths is, maths is, maths, because <laughs> that's what you needed to get into university. And I went to a sixth form college, and I always remember getting judged because I went in with, I was a bit like Elle Woods, right? From Legally Blonde. I went in with my blonde hair and my fluffy pink suitcase, whatever it might be. And I remember being told, oh, you're studying beauty, right? You, that's over that way. And there is nothing wrong with what you choose to study at all. But I just remember being caught a little bit off guard because I was like, no, I'm, I'm looking for the chemistry class. And I think I hadn't realized, but it was something I was always 
judged on based on my appearance and the same thing happened for years like absolutely years because I then got into modeling while I was studying physiotherapy and apparently society tells you that you can't look a certain way you can't model yet be studying a scientific degree um, and I, I honestly it's been something that then has continued 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 working in professional football soccer for those of you in in the US and um, you know you're one of very few women um, it is a male dominant sport and I've always kind of then started to like excuse myself and play myself down and like try and like merge myself into something that I'm not and I worked out and that's why I brought that quote up and I hope that some of you can relate to this you are judged because of other people's reflections right it's a mirror image and this is why I'm so careful now so so careful that when I meet people when I see people online when I see people's journeys online that I do not judge and it happened today, it happened for the first time in our Lean With Lily community um, and I know it's been resolved and it's absolutely fine but one of our girls who is a model, who's a fashion model, um, shared her progress from 30 days and I've been watching her journey because she tags me nearly every day in stories and I don't know if you're watching, watching this, I hope you are, um, and the work that this girl puts in, like all of you, is freaking phenomenal, like phenomenal. I see her sweaty selfies, I see the journey, I see the journey she's going on with so many other friends as well, by the way, um, and you know, there, there were judgments there and there's nothing wrong with feeling those feelings and judging. It's part of human nature, we all do it, but sometimes we've gotta just slow down and think before we put our projections on other people because we don't know what they're going through, we don't know where they're at in life, we don't know where they've come from, we don't know what their goals are. And I said this in stories today, we all have one common goal, which is to come out of this journey, which by the way, this journey never ends, <laughs> but to go on a journey to become the best versions of ourselves. And that is a 360 approach. And I learned that mainly when I ruptured my ACL. It's a 360 approach. It's mental, it's physical, and it's emotional. And that's why I freaking love this community because we are so supportive and I never want to lose that. Regardless of how big we get, I do not want to lose that. Um, so that got, that got deep real fast. Um, but I just wanted to share that with you. And that's, I guess why I'm so scared of judgments. And I spoke to my sister on the phone today and she was just like, but Lil, you put yourself on social media, you are open to judgments. And I'm like, I totally get that. I totally get that. But we, everything I put out and everything I will continue to always put out is positive and it's positivity because I can guarantee if you are a positive person to other people, if you give out that positive energy, you are gonna get it back times one million. And nothing feels better than giving. Giving positive energy, it's a circle, right? You get it back. Like, yeah, that's kind of how I feel. Um, last time I noticed that I tend to spit, okay, I'm gonna see if anything else comes through. Okay, I don't understand why people put others down and judge without knowing what their history is. So many people have felt so bad about themselves. Girls, I don't show you any of the negative stuff that I get. And touch wood, thankfully, I don't get that much of it um, in comparison to a lot of online personalities, but I do. I really do. And a lot of it is often around my appearance, actually, um, and judgments. And that's why I try to show as much as I physically can, because it's so important for me that I show you what I'm eating every day, that I live a normal lifestyle, that I'm not restricting in any way. Um, but I get it every day, and I choose not to show it. Sometimes I will, <laughs> you'll see on stories, but I choose not to show it because I wanna keep it positive and it really is that simple. And no, you know, I judge people and I find myself falling into that trap and I have to go, Lily, stop it. You don't know that person, you don't know their journey. One that I'm getting at the moment, oh, this girl, she's hitting 500,000 subscribers, it just happened for her like that. No, it did not. Alex was there from day one, three and a half years of graft, of giving, 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 giving. Why? Because I love helping you guys. Um, but you know, you get those judgments, it's, it's gonna happen. Um, oh, you guys are amazing. Look up William Smith's definition of love. 
I will. It's actually wise and important. I will do that. Um, have always gotten that all my life. I work so hard, but people have a look at me and into, in, immediately judge. Sorry, Laurie, I misread that. Oh, it comes natural for you. You're lucky. No, I work my butt off. Yeah. And sometimes actually not responding. Something happened today and my, my best friend, again, Danae, who you know, don't respond. Sometimes you just gotta be the elegant one who holds back and you're like, do you know what? I'm trying to understand why you said that. I'm trying to understand what made you judge. Um, and I'm not gonna respond because that's taken up my time and my energy and it's freaking hard. <laughs> it's so hard, um, but it's, it's so worth it. Um, okay, let's check in. Please chuck through any more questions as they come up. Lily, you're so transparent and it takes courage to allow yourself to be vulnerable. Whew, should have seen me during my ACL injury. Was anyone around then? Because that was deep stuff. I was emotional then. Um, okay. Last question. What are we on to? Uh, I think it's Emily training. Yeah. So basically it's asking Emily now about her training during lockdown. Just a little heads up. It's very different to ours, I would have thought. I would love for her answer to be like, I'm doing Lean With Lily workouts. I'm one of England's like star rugby players, but we know that's not happening. But let's see what Emily's doing, particularly rugby specific stuff. How am I keeping fit during lockdown? Um, I suppose a bit like everybody, it's weird time, isn't it? Um, you're kind of having to, to do what you what you can in your house and around kind of your local area. But um, I'm quite fortunate. I My family live on a farm, so I've been able to build a bit of a gym up there. So I've got like hay bales as my uh, squat rack, pallets, just various different farm items that are actually proving really useful. Um, and then apart from that, just obviously trying to keep on top of normal training so running and stuff obviously I can't be around the other girls and, and playing actual rugby but just trying to stay fit and, and healthy as much as possible and then I think this time is a really good time to kind of have a little experiment as well try and find something new that you, you enjoy um, obviously I'm probably not much of a runner but I've been trying to get out and do some some 5k's just because that means that it's something different set myself a new target of trying to get that time down um, so again it's just about finding finding new things that you enjoy just take a second out. Can they see Teddy? Just the top of it. You slightly tilt it. Just take a look. This is gonna put you in the best mood ever. <laughs> this is where he goes. He just sits on me and falls asleep. Yeah, don't you, baby? <laughs> I love him so much, man. Oh, you little cutie. It's okay. It's okay. He loves this bit. And he's gone. And he's gone. Um, so guys, I've got a few little questions coming through, but we're gonna we're gonna pretty much end it quite soon. And um, thank you so much to Emily, by the way. I know she doesn't have a huge amount of time because she's literally like training her backside off to be one of the best players in the world. So thank you so much for joining. Um, only one K more to go from Catherine. You didn't say it. she was 2019 Women's Rugby Player of the Year. Did you Definitely. hear that? 2019. 2018. Here you go. <laughs> All uh, the stats coming through. British Olympic rugby team. Insane. In Rio. Like literally, this woman a is a legend. Love bra. Love bra. All round woman boss. Not gonna lie. Um, oh gosh, I need to turn that down. Okay, guys, we have 1k until we hit 500,000 subscribers. Specifically, where we are. Should I check? Uh, Have you got yeah, it? <laughs> Literally can't believe it. Oh my gosh. Are you kidding me? Mm -hmm. So we're 500 off. Well, 589, but not far. Um, guys, <laughs> I love how you're literally answering for me how many we've got. Thank you, beautiful. Thank you, Alex and Teddy. Uh, da, 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 da. Okay, so you've literally got a few minutes to enter the giveaway if you haven't already. So please check out my third to last workout, uh, which was the Love Handles one. Enter there, just follow the steps in the description. It's really, really simple to enter because that competition, that giveaway is closing as soon as we hear 500K. Um, oh, you've done it, amazing. Um, oh, you guys are amazing. Good or bad, oh, I just love reading all your, thank you so much. 
I agree with Lily. We're on a journey to meet our goals together. We sure are. Right, girls. <coughs> what is your weight? <coughs> I have no idea. Literally no idea. <laughs> Sorry. Just had a coughing fit as well. A lot. That's all I know. Like, it's a lot more than you think. Um, I'm tall. I'm nearly six foot tall. And um, I got a lot of muscle, I guess. Can you still see me? <laughs> You're just having a little explore there, Teddy. Um, thank you for everything you do. Uh, and a special mention to Teddy and Alex. <laughs> Linda, Lily, no sleep for you. We will all celebrate your success tomorrow with some arms. That's so true. So guys, don't forget, Teddy, fluff on you. You don't even normally molt. Um, so tomorrow is abs and arms. You're going to your daddy. <laughs> um, so it's going to be pretty intense tomorrow. I hope you are ready for a burn. Please do tell your friends get involved have you tried the recipes yet have you downloaded the weekly guide and um, it's the last one of the week and it's gonna be full on i'm not gonna lie because i really want you girls to burn um okay i'm six foot one wow no i didn't know you that tall even taller than me tall club tall club uh steph's video was so powerful that's Catherine. you knew the one that i was talking about thank you so much for helping me out because i'm just 13 feel really energetic and inspired to work out. That's amazing, guys. Um, started with you like a month ago, you were at 360,000, I know, right? Like this is absolutely crazy. The rate at which we're growing right now, like I'm in disbelief, I'm actually in disbelief and I'm, I'm just so thankful, really. Oh, craziness. Okay, girls, I'm gonna love you and leave you. I love you very much. I will see you tomorrow for another live. Oh, please tag me in your Instagram stories. I want to see I want to see the final result and I'll see you tomorrow same place same time grab your weights get ready to burn Ted do you want to say bye what are you doing much can you try to find oh 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 okay let's get some teddy love what's this? What's this? say bye bye guys we love you we love you <laughs>